Well, there's nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crown. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined as always on these big occasions by Stuart Robson. It is Manchester City up against Inter. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Manuel Akanji plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Ilkay Gundogan plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of midfield. And handed the task of playing up front is Erling Haaland. Inter's lineup is as follows. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Francesco Acerbi in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Romelu Lukaku. And now the Champions League final commences. Dumfries. Lukaku. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Kevin De Bruyne Walker now Rodri Gundogan Martinez It's with Chalanolu Inter in a position of menace Martinez Stop from the keeper. Yeah. Now the delivery. Not a bit short with the clearance. Can he finish this? He's foiled them on his own. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, he's been brilliant for them. He's their leading goal scorer and his general play in the top third of the pitch has been so clever. And I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Making sure it didn't get past him. Who can they pick out? Plattered away. Chalhanolu. Now with Martinez. Can he put them in front? Oh, a goal! Inter have done it! They've taken the lead in this Champions League final. 
Wonderful scenes. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. So the action continues, and City looking to offer a swift response to that setback. Mares. De Bruyne now. Mares. Now Gundogan. This could be the equaliser. Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed, and the dream remains very much alive. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Brozovic. Romelu Lukaku now. Oh, surely. He had to react and did. Jack Grealish. De Bruyne. Riyad Mahrez. Holland. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Martinez. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Lukaku. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Rodri. It's with Gundogan. De Bruyne, on to Holland. Now moving the ball impressively here. A good and fair challenge. Lukaku. And it's with Dumfries. Martinez. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Brozovic. It's a good inter move in the making. And whipped into the box. Oh, a goal to give them the lead. And look at the celebrations. Well, let's look at this again. And the keeper just lost his bearings there. He was never in the right position. He won't want to see that again. Questions have been asked of Manchester City. Now it's all about their answers. Grealish. No possibilities inside the box. Grealish.
just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? something of an emotional mangle. Matteo Damian. Damian. It's with Cianadolu. Alessandro Bastoni. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Brozovic, it might be the moment to get them ahead, and a goal to re-establish their advantage, just look at the celebrations. Well, here we can see it again, look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself, but there's still plenty for him to do, under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plum, it's a great goal. Having conceded, Manchester City know they've got to come up with a response. Kevin De Bruyne. Rodri. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Well, they were very patient, but they no longer have the ball. Lukaku. Holland, Gundogan, opportunity, and he quartered the attack with a masterful tackle. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty, and a good-looking ball. Inter have given away possession, and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Walker Lukaku doing the shielding as others make their way forward and this is Brozovic on to Martinez and the whistle is sounded for half time in this game Into the second half, then, in this battle for Champions League glory. Stop them in their tracks. Martinez racing forward, trying to catch them out. Crossing possibilities. Martinez. And here's Brozovic. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Holland. Now with Mares. City pushing forward with options available. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Chalanolu. Return to Lukaku. Martinez. And it might be. Oh, marvellous save. Great 
Goalkeeping. Gundogan being pressed hard. And continues his run. De Bruyne. Barella. Martinez. And the intervention, a good one by Stones. Grealish. Rodri. City move it forward with purpose. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Now well, we're into the final half hour. Barella. And fed forward. And it's still on. Barella. And here's Brozovic. Martinez! Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Over it comes. Really good high press. Varela. Now with Martinez. He's trying to create something. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way, surely. Well, let's take another look. And it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Rodri. Holland and back with Rodri he read the situation defensively and did his job Chalanolu and the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack played into the box well I suspected that might be difficult for the keeper but I was wrong De Bruyne Grealish pressing high to win the ball De Bruyne well this would help them get back into the game absolutely spot on with that challenge under pressure doesn't seem to be bothering him Mares and back with De Bruyne not messing around with that clearance Holland read it well. Martinez. It's with Chalanolu. Federico Di Marco. And return to Chalanolu. Martinez. And the ball's gone. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches. Firing it towards goal! And a goal almost bewitching in its beauty. Excellent technique. Well, this is well worth watching again because from that distance, this is an incredible strike. But you do have to question the goalkeeper because he shouldn't be beaten from there. Rodri. Rodri. 
De Bruyne. Determined defending. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Mkhitaryan. And with that, the attack fizzles out. So now a corner. And short it is. Varela. And no luck keeping possession. Oh, that's a really good run. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Chalhanolu on to Barella. Is it going to be? Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Five minutes to go. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? But nothing comes of it. Hendrik Mkhitaryan. Using his strength to shield the ball. Manuel Akanji. And Grealish. De Bruyne. Now with Silva. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Holland. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. And there it is! Full time! They are the Champions League winners! Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. Here we go. The Champions League winners. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.